Hello everyone. I am going to explain about features and types of single entry system. Single entry system is the oldest and the most straightforward method of books keeping in financial transactions which is rarely prevalent these days. In this system, only one side of transaction is recorded because of the absence of any prescribed rules and so records maintenance are more or less incomplete. This is uh, known as an unscientific method of single entry system. Some of the features of single entry system are discussed. Unsystematic method, which is also known as unscientific method. This is an unsystematic method for recording business transactions in the books of accounts. There are no specific rules and principles will be followed or applicable for recording business transactions in case so it is uh, uh, known as incomplete record of bookkeeping. Then second feature is mixed system for recording business transaction. Accounting from incomplete record is a mixed system of recording business transaction in which some transactions are recorded as per double entry system. For certain transactions only follow single entry system is made in the books. In some cases, no recording is made in the books of account. So, the mixer system is following both the digital uh, double entry or single entry. Then the third feature is lack of uniformity. We may not ex uh, expect uniformity in the bookkeeping system as the single entry system records uh, business transactions under their mechanisms differ from organization to organization as recording is made as per the need and convenience. So, individual perception is adapted in this book of uh, recording. So, there will not be any uniformity. Personal transactions are mixed up with business transactions. There will not be a separate entity for uh, professional or business transactions. Both the personal and the business activities will be clubbed and the transactions will be recorded are consolidated together in the system of single entry system. Personal transactions of owners are usually mixed up easily with the business transactions. Sometimes it is really difficult to segregate the business expenses and personal expenses separately. For example, maintenance expense of a car, which is usually used or termed as a personal expenses, which will be uh, termed as professional expense as it is used for both personal and professional usage. Then based on uh, estimates, the profit is based only on estimation, hence cannot be relied upon. Similarly, the position of assets uh, and liabilities does not show true and fair value of business concern. Highly flexible. This mechanism is not based on any set of rules, principles of regulation standards, so it can be modified and changed as per the need and availability of time then suitable for very business, uh, small business entities. It will not be a uh, better accounting system for a larger scale. Though the information provided by the system is inaccurate and not authentic, yet the system is time and cost saving, hence adapted by those small business entities that are not bound to keep record of transactions as per double entry system. Mainly personal accounts are maintained. Under the single entry system, mainly personal accounts are maintained and no record of real and personal account is maintained separately. So these are all the main features of single entry system. Now let's move on to the types of single entry system. Under the system of bookkeeping, it is differentiated in three types, where, namely pure single entry, simple single entry and quasi single entry. These are the main types of single entry system. Let's learn one by one. Pure single entry system as a system of bookkeeping where only the personal accounts are maintained. There is no information present concerning the sales, purchase, cash in hand and bank balance. Then simple single entry system. Under this system, cash book is maintained along with personal accounts and these are maintained as per double entry system of bookkeeping. Cash received or paid from business to business, debtors or creditors are merely written on the bills issued and received. Quasi single entry system. In this system, subsidiary books such as sales book, cash book, bills receivable book, bills payable book are maintained in addition to cash book and personal account. So it is known as quasi single entry system. So these are the various types of single entry system. 
normally used rarely in case of uh, indian entities thank you